the first service error of set number two for Purdue, but their fifth of the match. And that bullet came from Brooke Humphrey, who is from Lafayette, Indiana, as a matter of fact, wearing maize and blue. Trammell pushes it to Jones in the back row for Michigan. Johnson so good with that back set, and there tools the block from the middle. And then called her own shot on the two ball there and scored. Love it. What a save by Johnson to keep that point alive. Here's Cleveland again, turned away by Merzik. And it's Michigan who seals the deal in set number two. On the block, evening the score at one. That was a great ball right there from Newton. Just cleared the tape, but Jones goes cross court. Yeah, that's a flat ball too, and she found those deep edges. Right there, nice flat. You see her hand. Grant will serve again. 5'8 redshirt freshman from Northville High School. Door is closed, says Kayla Bear. 50 assists in the second match at Maryland last weekend. Averaging just under nine assists per set. Paige Jones, when she gets up like that, man, there's only one thing that's happening, and that is a, another point on the board for Michigan. Hitting percentage up to 266 for the green and white. Grant calls off Johnson. Paige Jones tries to throw it home, but a solid block. Johnson, the back row attack from Merzik. Kronowski, Johnson, Jones. Far side, Franklin. The set from a middle blocker doesn't totally work out. Cullen goes to Kronowski who gets stuffed. Pertowski and Robinson were there to slam the window. Cox sends it over. Johnson, the quick one to Pertowski, very well executed by the Wolverines. Bear back to serve again, and that one's gonna drop in for an ace. That one just catches the end of the line. And that's gonna land on the end line for another ace. That's Merzik's second ace of this rotation. Pass from Rubino. A great bump set from Alfred there. Pritchard goes down the line. Dowd with the setter dump, the two-handed set. Man, that is deceptive from Maddie Dowd. A great move by the sophomore. Jess Merzik with the pass to Maddie Dowd. Kendall Murray on the right side. That's dug up by Marilyn. They go back to Sire. A great pass from Paige Jones, and Maddie Dowd does it again. The deceptive back row setter dump. Slow claps from the parents and family here at Cliff Keen Arena. Alford will set behind her and Paige Jones ends the match with a massive solo block for the Wolverines. They win their second match of the year taking this one in five. 25-17, 27-29, 25-20, 23-25. And 15-10 is your final score. Some lineup changes for the Wolverines. They are without freshman setter Scotty Johnson, freshman outside hitter Jess Merzik, freshman opposite Kendall Murray, and junior Lizzie Sadelek due to various protocols. Dowd will set that one over with two hands, and that is a very deceptive move for Maddie Dowd. She's scored on that now a few times this season. They've worked together in a 6-2. And tonight, with Scotty Johnson unavailable, it will be all Maddie Dowd. There is a block touch from Robinson. Stockham on the tip. Set by Dowd on the slide to Robinson, and that is a great dig from Indiana's libero. Haley Armstrong down the line. And another great dig from Amber Beals. That roll shot dug up. They'll go back. First ball set for Maddie Dowd. They'll try to go to Jones out of the back row. And she tools the block. Indiana really needing a good pass here so they can even try to run their middle. They're bump setting the outside way too often right now. And they call the ball out and it will land about a foot in. We will look to move past that moment, but 
Before we do, I, I might add that it is a front runner for the weirdest moment of this Big Ten season so far in a season that has been defined by weird moments and postponements and cancellations and everything that hasn't gone right. You would think that one thing that would go right is uh, knowing who's serving. There's a diving dig by Hannah Grant. Bump set from Jess Robinson, and Paige Jones will take a rip at it. That's dug up. They'll set outside to Stockham. Roll shot. Dug by Jones. Dowd sets back to Robinson. She has an open net, but not up in time. Armstrong bump set to Stockham. Diving one-handed dig from Grant. Jones on the attack, and she puts it away. Michigan goes up 18-17 after the longest rally of this third set. Coley to serve once more. Grant with the vertical path. Malinowski will take a swing. Dug up by Coley. They'll set middle. That's dug up by Hannah Grant. And Maddie Dowd breaks out the two-handed back row setter dump once again. Set to Pertoski, and that is an inside set. Indiana's block did not see it coming. Jones on the outside, kill for Jones. It is considered an out of bounds ball. Scotty Johnson will serve again. Vanya once again, second set from the Wolverines. Paige Jones for the pass. Out to Mercic. 
Back to Lundot for the tip. Can they keep it alive? They can. Mercik for the, uh, the attack. Back to Lundot again. Scotty Johnson, great dig. Back to Petrovsky. Raider out of the middle. Jones out of the back row. Kill for Jones. Point goes to Michigan. Hannah Grant will serve for the Wolverines. That ball dropped. I'm sitting right behind the head referee. Can they keep it alive? Lundut to Petraza. Petraza finishes the match off with a dump. Fabulous performance tonight by the Ohio State Buckeyes. That's Jess Merzik, the true freshman with the serve. Sweet with the swing for Nebraska. And Scotty Johnson with a back row set to Merzik, the server for Michigan. Sweet tries it again. She went deep, and it's dug well by Hannah Grant. Merzik again. And Hames passes to Kubik, a great back row attacker for Nebraska. Here's Paige Jones at the pin. A dig by Knuckles. Sun tools the block, and there's Grant again. Off to an outstanding start in this match for Michigan. Great pass from the libero to Sun, who's blocked by Scotty Johnson and Jess Robinson for Michigan. Point for the Wolverines. I'll tell you what, Michigan doing a really nice job reading the play where they need to be. Fifth in the Big Ten in digs per set. Picks out her counterpart, Kenzie Knuckles, on the serve. Here's Jazz Sweet blocked. Again, and this time it's Paige Jones and Kayla Bear. Up on the left arm. The sea of jazz suite. Not going too far, not get, reaching out. Putting your tweets on our broadcast all season long. And so let us know what's going on. Wolverines Nation, Husker Nation, always out in force for these B1G block parties. And if you're just a fan of volleyball in general, like me and Selena Rockwell. Bench, lo <laughs> Bench loves it. <laughs> Merzik, the number two overall recruit in the previous freshman class and that one is on the line in the back row which is really not that good by her standards Salima that is going to bring her average down if you can believe that Jones with some fire on that kill I mean look at this the heat behind this ball comes in all the way from the end line Kathy takes away that cutback this is what Michigan has not been able to necessarily stop tonight. These serving runs for Nebraska. It's Haley Densberger doing it now as that ball is pinballed all the way around and over. Murray into the middle. Ames over and back to Sun. Merzik pushes it to Johnson on the slide. Jess Robinson, Michigan does not do that very often. Murray down the line. Great dig by Densberger. This is a fun point. Over to Merzik, looking for her 20th kill of the night. Kubik. Merzik. Another dig by Densberger. How about this rally? Sun, not terminal. Johnson puts an end to it. Long, long rally. Huge swings. Great touches at the net. Unbelievable control by both teams. side it was Kendall Murray coming over for Michigan the first point of the contest a big part of their offense and if she can go get going early that's gonna be big for Nebraska oh, how about that little floater dropped in by Merzik and Alexi Sun blasts it right across her body Big Ten player of the week earlier this month most kills per set of her career so far here's Jones Sun with the left. Merzik. Now Sun again. And that was cheeky. I hope we get a few more tonight. Nice play by Scotty Jones. But Loberg was able to go off of Michigan middle blocker Jess Robinson's arm because her left hand was pulling off of the net. 
Barnes, what a save, punched up by Loberg and cleared by Retke. Murray tries it again. She gathers her own block. Johnson with the pass to Merzik. What a dig by Barnes, but it sets up an overpass, and Robinson keeps it alive again. Wisconsin dangerously out of system. Jess Robinson in the middle there with the swing for Michigan. Can the Wolverines punch it down this time? Merzik takes something off it, and there's Loberg. Hidney, Hilly, beg your pardon, back to Robinson. And finally, a point won by Michigan. That was an exciting point. Making matches sometimes. Right. Uh, so, yeah, they're just a little rattled right now. Seems like they just need to get the rhythm a little bit better and, and getting their outsides, their pen hitters, to put the ball away. Right now, mostly their middles are scoring, and Michigan is continuing to play good defense and keep the ball off the, off the floor. Being smart, too. They're out of system here. There isn't much that they could do. You see hard. Michigan to jump out to that quick feed. Hilly off the net, and I know it's obviously very early, but when we were talking to Kelly Sheffield, the head coach in his eighth year at Wisconsin, she is a very, very special volleyball player and athlete who just also happens to be very, very tall. And I think you can attribute it to how hard she works, Paul. I love to watch her in transition. She is in on every play. Maybe she didn't play that much last year, meaning Plummer, but that is the player of the year. She just dominated us, and so congratulations again to the Cardinal, who now stand alone with the most ever NCAA championships. And they have had a very, very difficult season because of COVID. Good block by Michigan, working on the outside. And for the block on the right side, working against Devin Robinson. It's a good look at that Merzik block. It's hard to believe Devin Robinson has never hit from the pin before. She comes as a middle blocker out of high school. And so, big transition for her, being asked to carry some out-of-system balls. And wow, has she risen to the occasion. Perfect dig right on target. Dug in the cross court. Nicely done by the liberal Hannah Grant. Transfer from Michigan State for Michigan. Ball set a little bit tight and paying the price on the block on the outside. Nice play by the Wolverine.